podcast, we're talking about non violent communication created by Marshall Rosenberg. Mm -hmm. He and um, Thomas Gordon, who created parent effectiveness training, were both studied under the same teacher who I forget that guy's name. So maybe you can help me with that. But um, tell us what nonviolent communication is. And then I'd love to hear like, what brought you to it personally? Sure. Um, so I, I think the best way I know how to explain what nonviolent communication is, is to kind of share some of the struggles we have had with our now nine month old daughter, Inara. <laughs> um, and we're first time parents. So this example that I'm going to share is our struggles with nap time. We had no idea nap time would be so difficult. Um, and we noticed that our darling little daughter, even though she was so exhausted, would fight going to sleep. She would flail around. She would um, cry out and vocalize. And we just didn't get it. She's clearly tired. Why isn't she just sleeping? And it was kind of frustrating, you know, as first time parents were exhausted and we want our, our break time as well. Um, and so we decided to try a little bit of curiosity. And we said, we asked ourselves, what is it that Inara is needing that she's just not able to potentially communicate to us? And through that, we started wondering and we said, you know what? She is probably so excited about this brand new world that she just wants to play. She wants to explore. She wants adventure. And she just doesn't want to sleep. Sleep is something she doesn't want to do. And when we were able to kind of have this curiosity and look for those underlying needs that she might have, we were able to come up with strategies to get both of our needs met. So now if she's resisting nap time, we just hand her a toy or like an orange or a piece of fruit and she'll just play with it and fall asleep. Um, oftentimes that's all it takes um, for her. And so we were able to get her needs met and our needs met through this curiosity. Um, we realized that she was basically asking with her, with her fussiness and her struggles, she was saying, please, um, I wanna play, please. I want exploration, I want adventure. And, um, and yeah, we were able to get in touch with that. And we, these are needs we all have. We all want play and adventure and exploration. And so just as Inara was unable to communicate her needs because she didn't have the language to do so, we all are basically grown up babies, right? We're all grown up children. And sometimes- So true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and sometimes we just, we haven't been taught that language or we haven't have learned that awareness to communicate our needs or even be in touch with them. Mm -hmm. um, and so NVC is a practice of going that deeper level of going deeper and saying, you know, what am I feeling right now and why? What are those needs that are alive in me? Um, and other people, if they're engaging in ways that we don't understand, that we're frustrated with, confused about, we can wonder what are the needs that are underlying that behavior and have conversations at that deeper level so that there's clarity in our communication. We're not saying at the surface level of judgments of you're right or wrong, or you're being dumb or being ridiculous or whatever words we use, we're able to go down at that level of, of clarity so that people can hear us and we can hear ourselves without defensiveness. And uh, I, I love to share something that one of my dear friends in the NVC community shared with me. And she said that we don't, we don't naturally, we're not naturally born judging others. You know, babies don't judge. If it's been too long since they've had milk, they don't say you're a bad mom, you're a bad dad, you should do this, you should do that. They just cry and they say, I'm hungry, please feed me, I'm hungry, I need milk, I need food. It's only as we get older, do we forget how to maybe connect to those very basic human needs that we all have. And so we say things like, you messed up big time by forgetting our anniversary. How could you do that? You're not a good partner. We say that instead of things like, I'm so sad because I so wanted to celebrate our love together and I wanted to feel special and valued today. That second way of speaking is much more likely to get us to feel closer to our partners, to get us to a place of mutual understanding and partnership. And that's what NVC teaches us how to do and where, how we can speak from that place. Catch new episodes of the Mindful Mama podcast and other free resources, including the Mindful Mom Guide at MindfulMamaMentor.com. You can listen to every back catalog episode, including interviews with Dr. Dan Siegel, Janla Van Zant, Sharon Salzberg, and get meditations, join our private Facebook group, and more. Go to MindfulMamaMentor.com now. I'll see you there.